Hi friends, welcome back to Library Tutorial with Laravel 8. In this video, we will going to create a form using the library component and we will validate that form. So how we can do this? So just create a component first and we will create a form inside the components view file. So just go to the terminal, write php artisan make library and suppose the name of the component is forms okay so component created and a class and a view file also created okay so if we go to the project directory inside the app http library we will get the forms.php that is the class file of the forms component and if you go to the resource inside the views we will get the library and inside this we will get the forms.blade.php so this is the blade file of the forms component okay so here we will create a form and we will validate this form suppose i am creating a very simple form that is for two field so here write from and inside the form i am creating two field so here create a label that is name and be your write a input field so write input type equal to text yes text okay and click beer and just create another that is email okay so write beer and just copy this and paste it here so here the type is email and i need to create a button button and close the button and here the type is submit okay so write type equal to submit and here also write the label of the button that is save okay so just call this view file so here just go to the terminal and start the server so write php artisan serve okay so server is running suppose i want to see this from first so i want to see this from inside the welcome page so basically we know all that this is the welcome.blade.php so just go to the project directory and inside the welcome.blade.php so here we can see the all things that is coming and now here i want to see the component view that is the forms okay so i don't need this so i just removing all those things there's a style and inside the div so i am removing all those things so first we need to include all the library styles so right here library styles so basically this will include all the library css and it needs to include before the head tag close and we need to include all the js of library so we need to add before the closing of body tag so right here library script so write library scripts okay so all the library css and js are included so now we need to call this view file so before that we need to create a route for this so go to the routes inside the route so have web.php so first we need to include the component straight so app http library so right here use app http library and name of the class that is forms okay so we need to create a link that is route and here write a get and right here the links that is forms and here the name of the class file is forms so write it here and colon colon class 
okay so now include this class from the welcome.blade.php so to render any component from the laravel blade we have to just write library and name of the class so write from so if we go to the browser and to refresh this we can see the form which i have created so now inside the forms we need to create a action that is we need to create a model and we need to bind this name email so we will just use a submit action so right here where and we will use the submit and suppose i am creating a methods into the component class file so this is the submit and i don't need to refresh this so just use prevent so basically it will not submit the page it will send with the ajax request and here also bind the name so right here where model and that is the name and same like for email we will write the email okay so right here email okay so let's go to the class file and create a method that is submit method so just go to the class file here write public function and the method name is submit so when we will click on the button so basically it will call the submit method so it will directly call to this method without refreshing the page that's cool okay so we are using the name and email so let's create a property for name and email inside the class file so right here public dollar name and public dollar email so now write the validate method just like the laravel so right here dollar this validate okay so basically this will call the validate method and we need to set the rule to validate so just write here protected dollar rules equal to i am taking a array so that we can set rule for multiple fields so right here name and suppose the name is require and the name length can have minimum of six and we can set the maximum of 30 okay so within this it will valid otherwise it will throw the error okay and for email we will set the rule that is it also be a required field and the type of will be the email okay so basically this will check the valid email so let's add the validation message into the blade file so if the validation error throws then the message will be display so here write a message section so we will write just like the laravel so if error in name it will print the error okay so write here end error and inside this we will write span and inside the span we will write the validation message so here the message will be print okay so dollar message okay and if the error is occur we want to see the message within red so just write color is red okay so you can use your css but for now i am just showing the purpose and for email copy from here and just paste it here so here i am taking the beer same like here also and here change the error that is email okay so now if we go to the browser and refresh so if we click on the save we will see the validation message so validate not require so there is the error so 
so here is spelling mistake so that will be the require okay so now refresh this so if you click on save we can see the name field is required and the email field is required so if we add any name that is john that is only the three character so if you click on the save the name must be at least six characters okay so basically it is working as per my rule so if you create a name that is a piece david greek so just click on save so we can see the name validation is not present so in the email if you write in random text and click on save it is showing the email field is required so just write here david at the rate gmail.com so basically this is the proper email format so click on save so email format is gone okay so now if we have properly validated our data then we need a message to display the inputs are valid so how we can do this so inside the library we can use the flash message so just go to the forms class and basically this is the validation function is calling and after that we will write the session and call the flash message so basically this session is a function so we need to write the function and write the flash and here we will write a message and write input fields are valid okay so now we need to print this message from view files so just go to the views and in the from we will write or if session has message that is this variable that is message variable so right here message then only it will display the success message so here write end if and inside the end if i am taking a div to print the message so here just write the session and message okay and i want to see the message into the green so write a style color is green okay so very simple so just go to the browser and refresh this page and suppose here i am writing the name that is john joy and here writing the email that is john at the rate gmail.com so if you click on the save basically the input fields are valid okay so we can understand without refreshing how we can use the forms and how to valid the forms using the library so very simple so if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section next day we will going to show you how to save this record into the database so that will be the interesting so we will create a database and connect this database into the library and we will take this from value into the database okay so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video bye bye